Okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Manufacturing Analytics demo. My name is uh, Pavan, and I will be taking you through this demo. Uh, let's take a look at the agenda first. Uh, we'll talk about the overview of manufacturing. Then we'll look at the product that we've built, that is the manufacturing analytics. Then we'll take some typical business questions. Now, these are typical questions that any customer uh, who's using manufacturing products or manufacturing processes in their company would have. And then in the live demo, I'm going to show you the reports and dashboards that we've built. And we'll see how our reports can answer these typical questions that any customer would have. Finally, we will wrap it up with the Q&A round. Okay, to get started, first let's try to understand what is manufacturing. As you can see uh, the picture on the screen, this is the picture of a manufacturing organization or a company. Now, manufacturing is the process of producing or creating something. An automobile company can produce vehicles, say a pharmaceutical company can produce uh, medicines. So it's a generic process that any company would follow. Of course, there will be some uh, specific changes or specific processes depending on the line of business, but the general process of manufacturing would still be the same. Now, when we talk about manufacturing, it's not just going ahead and creating or producing new items. There are many other parameters to it. What is the demand for this product? By when do I need to start my production so that I can meet the customer's uh, uh, product or fulfill the customer's orders? So there are various other questions that are related to the process of manufacturing. Uh, as I uh, proceed in this presentation and in fact show you the report uh, that we have built, you will see how all these questions can be answered and how all the processes are integrated in manufacturing. Uh, in fact, to explain this better, what I'll do is let me take a real life example. Let's assume that my company is into the production or manufacturing of computer hardware and um, accessories. So my company produces various models of desktops, laptops, and other computer accessories. And let's assume I've got an order from a customer to manufacture 100 models of a particular desktop and ship it in the next 10 days. So once I receive this order, uh, this is how it would probably work in a typical business um, cycle too. What I would do is I would first check how many items are already there in my inventory and how many I need to manufacture. Let's assume I've got about 80, I'm sorry, I've got about 20 desktops in my inventory, which means I just need to manufacture about 80 desktops now. And let's assume that I don't manufacture the monitors in a desktop. The typical components of a desktop could be a monitor, keyboard, mouse, CPU accessories, etc. right? So let's assume I don't manufacture the monitor part of it because I just buy it from my vendor. So in the process of manufacturing 80 pieces of a desktop, the first thing uh, what I would do is to place a purchase order to procure 80 monitors from my vendor. While that is happening, my manufacturing unit will start the production of the other parts required to assemble my 80 desktops. Now, a few other processes that would get involved here would be the testing team or the quality team because I would uh, like to ensure that my products are on par with the required pre-required uh, quality standard for the product. The quality team continuously starts working with my manufacturing team. Then there would be the finance team, which will take care of all the accounting and the finance in terms of the costing that is happening to the uh, actual manufacturing process. Probably there could be the shop floor team, which will do the assembly of the desktops as and when the production completes. So when all of these things meet, that is when I will be able to manufacture a complete desktop. And let's assume that I am able to manufacture 80 desktops and then ship all the 100 desktops within the 10 days and fulfill the customer's order. So this process of initially um, starting the production of 80 desktops to the process of finally packing everything and then sending to the customer would typically cover, uh, be covered in a manufacturing cycle. Uh, 